Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo and the Mysterious JG. I almost didn't play any Neo today. Um, I've had an extremely busy week at work, and next week I'm going to be very busy as well. Uh, so I just kind of kicked back this weekend. Well, I'm going to go off on a long, boring monologue here, but my Sunday is going to be given over to traveling to work stuff uh, starting on Monday. So I really had a kind of a one-day weekend, and I spent most of it playing Dynasty Warriors 9, and a lot of that wasn't even recording, it was just goofing around with the game. But, as it happens, it's also St. Patrick's Day, or rather it was, it's, uh, it's a little after midnight as I'm recording this. Um, and how could you get through St. Patrick's Day without visiting with your old friend William? Anyway, um, I'm mentioning this in part because uh, I recorded uh, about twice as much um, minimum twice as much Dynasty Warriors today as I'll be able to record Neo at this point because I need to get to bed soon, but I was putting out one video of these a day for those of you watching them as they first go up I was doing one video a day for a long stretch there before I finally uh, had to tailor off a little bit taper off a bit um, And honestly, I want to try to get in two videos only so I was kind of hoping not to get started on a big long main story mission but there's only one submission for us to do. So, let's quick show off just minor things that happened off screen. I haven't really. I haven't played since the last time I recorded, but there was a uh, weekly clan battle that ended. And using what I got from that, I purchased all the available transformations. So, right now, we're already cosplaying as. Uh, E ne Neomasa, uh, because I just oh I guess I did off screen beat that boss a couple more times to get a, a couple more pieces of gear so we could complete the the look, but we're already cosplaying as him. But we could cosplay as Hatrihanzo, which is kind of what we look like when I wear the other outfit that I completed with a little bit of off screen play, which is I got everything for the Ega Ninja outfit by basically fighting uh, the uh, tutorial mission. Well, it's not a tutorial mission, but it's the mission where you fight Hanzo in order to unlock the adept skills, veteran skills, or whatever. Yeah, I did that a couple times until I got everything. We can cosplay even further as Neo Masali, so I challenge you to tell the difference. The difference is... William has a beard. We can play as... Nagamasa Kuroda, and I didn't realize just how epically stupid his hat is. Because uh, I don't think we ever really seen him in battle or anything, but his hat is really dumb. Uh, there's also Takibana Munashige, who we've <laughs> actually had already been cosplaying as for a long ass time. And the one I'd be most likely to take out into the field of those we've seen so far Bitty Baby Kobayakawa. And, um,. The other one I'd be most likely to try out, although it, the look just isn't right with all the weapons on his back. Um, if it weren't for the weapons on his back, like if you went bare-fisted, it would be kind of fun to play as a revenant, but um, I don't think it looks quite right, since he, you, the, the weapons you're equipping are actually being used. And of course, there's uh, Tachibani Kinchio and uh, Senji Tome. But for now, well, I suppose we can, uh, let's roleplay as Itty Baby Kobayakawa as we do a side mission. But in fact, as you probably already noted, we're, we are in fact cosplaying right now as um, Neomasa Lee, E, whatever. We have all of his gear, which means basically we've got the plus 26.4% key recovery speed, which is probably your main thing that makes this cool. Uh, and I equipped his primary weapon as my secondary weapon so I could continue to use an axe. But in fact, I have to think in the long term about whether I want to switch over to um, going with a ninja style now that I've got the Ega Ninja gear and I put a lot of points into dexterity. Um, it's a first playthrough, so you can try different things without having to super specialize, I think. But um might want to switch over to a ninja style, even though I'm enjoying axe-based combat. Anyway, we'll probably switch to ninja gear for the Ega Escape. Although, again, I don't really want to get into a major plot mission. 
in this video. I'd rather do something quick and easy. And I might just do this video and then just have to wait and come back. Um, I can get through, yeah, it, we might have to stagger these out. It might be uh, two days separating Neo videos if I only do one right now, but... Katsu has a mission for us and a location we may not have already seen. They say that some children who were testing their bravery in a cemetery outside town haven't come home. They might just be hiding as a joke, but they could have been kidnapped or taken by your guy. Would you mind going to look for them? I'm thinking this will involve enemies and stuff. As war churns on and faith falters, even more temples fall into decay. But spiritual power inherent to holy grounds can serve as a beacon to yokai and other evil spirits, transforming many abandoned temples into dens of malice. How, why does that sentence begin with a but? Those two things seem like it, they're connected, not disparate. Anyway, I don't think we are already familiar with this map. Certainly dark enough. Uh, what is my guardian spirit? I think. This guardian spirit really only makes. This uh, Naomasa cosplay. You get a big bonus if you're using Enko. And I am using Enko. Okay. You get a bonus for using Enko as your. Um, You have a defense and attack bonus, but only if you have Anko as your guardian spirit. Oh, oops, I've got the wrong primary weapon. Oh, he's got a goofy looking stance either way. So we got an amaretta. Emerita demon that we can sneak up on. Somebody was trying to teach me the basics of how their gauges work. Basically, I keep stunning them. When I occasionally stun them by accident, it's because I'm hitting them at a weak point, not because I've managed to take away their stamina or anything. There, got his weak point. Are you a missing child? Kinda hope not, because you seem to be dead. Yeah, sure, it would be nice to find the missing children alive, but I ain't counting on it. We may find the missing children as demons. We may encounter a bunch of the Cyclops demons at the end and then find out that they were the uh, children and they've turned into demons. Be prepared for a bunch of revenants lying around. There's little low bits of cover to hide them from us. I was evading. I just got done saying this was a possibility. You know I was ready to evade, and then sure enough, it's like, nope, sorry, the... Apparently you weren't fast enough. He sounded a lot like a woman when he attacked there. I guess he's supposed to be a little kid. Or sound like a little kid. an elixir, which reminds me I could use elixirs, and probably should. Spooky graveyard stage, folks. It's spooky, 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 spooky. We shot right into a, an object that's like inches away from him. Got a 
got some hand cannon ammunition. Well, I guess this was a perfectly valid side mission for me to do on screen. I'm trying not to do all the side missions on screen, but if we've never seen the map before, I want to do it. And we've never seen this map before, unless I'm gravely mistaken. I got fairly good at dispersing those little yokai zones back when I was trying to do a, a, that all the freaking time as part of a, a title. What am I hearing? Oh, the wall. It sounds like Bruce Pritchard doing Andre the Giant. Okay, it actually went for this on the first try. Somebody pointed out to me that uh, if you pay attention, I'd seen the eyes go red before. I thought that was some kind of coding that you, it wanted you to do, like you had to do the opposite of that. I don't know. I didn't know what the red eyes meant, but then somebody told me it just means don't do whatever you just did. So some of them like blue gestures, some of them like yellow, some of them like red. But I guess if you do the wrong kind, you have like a a 50-50 chance to get it right. So we got a little sneak preview of an enemy over here. Don't know if that was meant to happen. force of habit from constantly re-clearing that one stage um, where you run up to treasure chests and uh, try to get a it's the mission that uh, Masanaga's ghost gives you that you can grind on for XP's I um, was blocking as I hit the treasure chest Ooh, what did I hit? Oh, you didn't die. I did, but you didn't. I could have sworn I killed that guy. I thought my little spinny axe thing finished him off. Okay, that sucked. So, once again, we're um, trying to get back our corpse here. Didn't really have a ton of Amaretta saved up, so I'm not w all that worried about um, using items to retrieve our corpse. before. I thought I had spaced it out so that I was going to be attacking as he was pulling his sword, but instead I uh, ran right into an arrow to the face. How nice. Path of Wisdom is probably to kill the Samurai Demon. Instead I'm going to try to sneak past him. Actually, Path of Wisdom is probably to leave him alive and sneak past him, at least until I get my corpse back, but I do worry that I will come running out here and either forget him or come running out and not realize that I'm in an area where we'll be right next to each other because I'm in a room that I haven't fully explored yet here. Having 
thought I could kill this guy. Yeah, see, I thought that's what happened last time, but I guess there's another one. Oh, they move in packs, eh? That's worth remembering because that's one of the enemy types I haven't killed a whole ton of yet, so there's probably a title and bonuses to be gotten from killing a bunch of them. Paracord. Impaled by umbrella. Impaled by umbrella. Lots of guys impaled by umbrellas. Yes, I know this is not how these work. But I love that sacred water. Is this a path that I had not come up before? Has to be, right? Oh, it's up above where I could go before. I was about to say, how have I not already been up here? Yo, oh, because I'm not very observant, that's why. Actually, is something I could get to before. It looks like. Because I killed that guy and then wandered off in another direction. So I could, it looks like, have come at that uh, door that you gesture to um, from behind. In which case you actually just pull a magical anti-ghost sticker off of it. There's a type of traditional Shinto charm which Bobo and I from watching anime refer to as an anti-ghost sticker. Okay, I am going to kill this guy now because I don't want him... I don't want him popping up when I'm in the middle of fighting whatever this other demon is. Yeah, I didn't think Itty Bitty Baby Goodbye Kawa was going to be quite that much of a Bitty Baby. Alright, bitty baby, goodbye, Kawa. Lay one of your ninja traps. I really hate these guys. haven't quite figured out what well, am I nuts or does he have a whole I don't know if he has a different his attack animation with the axe is so different from Williams but is that the way that it works for William too and I'm nuts does it look different or is it really different Genji the slicer still not always clear on what it means when those Revenant names appear in red. Keep waiting for something to hop out from behind a corner. Ooh, spooky knocking. Oh, this might be the spooky kids here. I did hypothesize that the kids had turned into these demons. And I did not know this was coming when I did that. Oh, this is the end of the level, I can pretty much tell. Because they trapped me. Oh, you're already poisoned. Don't you set it off. That's no fair. <laughs> Don't 
do I not have to kill the other two? guy hanging out in the back. I somehow figured the boss zone would be clear of little distractor enemies. What the hell was I thinking, huh? And he should just die after a while. Although I guess it could wear off. This does seem like, you know, I know this is how I fight all the time anyway, but it seems a pr a particularly appropriate when playing as Bitty Baby Kobayakawa. Oh, wow. Mommy, he's hungry. Possibly she's hungry, but I think he's hungry. Any other cool treats in here? Hot eats cool treats? No. So I don't know how much more there was to this level, but um didn't fully explore it, but there's no little there's no, no little on meow, whatever they are called, things to search for, so there's not really a point coming back and doing like a full, full clear, I don't believe. <laughs> so we should just get a little pat on the back from What's-Her-Face. Okatsu. So instead of the missing children, there were three small yokai. How strange. One looking for their children left your compensation. And it hasn't been seen since. It's almost as if they aren't worried about their children at all. Perhaps it wasn't wise to accept their request. Okay, so what she's suggesting is that... Um, somebody who wants us dead paid us to go into a trap, I guess. Gotcha. Alright, it took me a second to figure that out. I was wondering if it was like a demon disguised as a human who wanted to make sure that her demon children were okay or something. And I was like, no, that doesn't really make sense in this particular case. Earth Amulet, Small Soul Stone, and Woman's Face Visor. So no new side ops opened up, which means if I want to get another video out of this recording session, I kind of do have to start in on the Ego Escape. Which I hadn't really wanted to do. Darn it. Let me see how how I'm doing as far as uh, time in this video. <laughs> this one's a little on the short side. I've had some other ones go awfully long though. I think we could get away with it, right? There's no even like uh, crazy nightmare missions to do. Just uh, 225. I mean, that must be across multiple difficulties because I think I'm more than halfway through the main story now. And I've been 100% clearing these guys, and... Well, maybe not. Maybe with the, the DLC, it does get up to 225 some way. So... I guess I'll call this one a short video. Um, I mean, I could... Fudge for time by coming in and talking to Senji Tome, but I think I've. She just mouths wordlessly at you. I think I pretty much maxed out what we can do with her for right this minute. Um, is there anything new to learn about? Not really. Inheritance. I haven't done. I was reforging. What's the one where you actually uh, 
improve special effects. I need to do that because when you use a uh, soul match to up the level of an item, it decreases the special attributes. It increases its base attack and stuff, but decreases. Well, I tried to tell you about how our castles look different from yours, and you didn't give me extra special stuff. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, can't, trans can't transform my hair while I am transformed. So I do kind of want to find out about reforging, re but I think as I spend all of my freaking gold on trying to... As I spend all of my gold on trying to increase um, the different affinities... Um, I haven't stockpiled enough gold to actually take advantage of any of our services. But eventually, as you can see, we've actually made some progress on this off-screen. Um, new things opened up that weren't there before. Additional stock is the next one I'll get, probably, and then forge cost discount. And eventually, this other stuff. But I do want to find out a little bit about, um... Reforging. Redistribute special effects with piece of equipment. When you select multiple special effects to reforge piece of equipment, you will raise the levels of those special effects. Equipment having special effects will be with the lock icon, and special effects marked with the inherit icon cannot be redistributed. Inheritance. This, is, I think, is just, yeah, I, I know about this. So she didn't really explain it, and um, the one or two times off camera I played with this, I couldn't quite figure it out. But like right now, well, I've got all these things that are locked. Because I don't want to... So just for the hell of it, let's see what happens if we um, tried to upgrade this. We're at B+, 10.2... 12.2 and 15.4. So if I wanted to increase... Uh, oh, I see these are locked. So some things can't be in increased, huh? That sucks. Well, if I want to increase my Brute Axe, and I want it to do even more mid-attack damage... How would that work? I could... I don't really understand what's going on here. I've taken it away. So I'm not actually improving them. I'm not taking the same thing and improving the, the numbers. I'm just getting rid of it and trying to get another thing in the same slot. Is that how it works? That's not how I thought it worked. Then again, I just point out that I don't know how it works. Redistribute the special effects. It's like multiple effects. You will raise the levels of those special effects. Yeah, all right, somebody in the comments. Got, I've got some very hand helpful and useful people in the comments. I'm sure someone will throw in and tell me how this works or I can look it up myself. Yeah, one of those two things will happen, I'm sure, which is why, hey, if you feel like writing in the comments and telling me, do it, and uh, don't feel like you need to because I'll look it up on my own at some point, probably, if um, I have to. At this point, I think I've filibustered long enough to get a uh, full-length video out of this. So I'm going to call it a video... But I'm also thinking that um, I'm going to be a little shy on um, Neo content this week, so apologies. Um, this will probably come out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, if I do one every other day, yeah. I'm not going to start this next mission right now. I'd really... Um, I would be up for it. I feel like it, but I need to get to bed um, because I got I got a long drive tomorrow. I'm going to drive, like, you know, across states. 
uh, got like business travel, which is within the boundaries that um, I wouldn't want to fly. I could actually probably put in a fly, but I'd rather have my own car. So um, yeah, I've made I've now filibustered enough to make this full length video. But yeah, I, I, I can't really record anymore right now. So um, if the first thing I do when I get back in town is record more Neo and get it uploaded, you might not notice uh, an interruption. For people who are watching this as it goes up, um, if because I'm going to probably end up switching to an every other day upload schedule now that I've got other LPs going. But uh, if I don't jump on this as soon as I get back in town because other things come up, then uh, you may have a little drought with no Neo. Hopefully it'll give you a chance to get caught up if you're behind. And if you are... I never understand why people are so reticent to watch an old LP. Um, I guess some people really like feeling that their comments are... They're participating through the comments. I remember Larry, I hate you, would get... Like, in the comments was just... He's a, an lp -er. I don't know if he still does LPs, actually. But in the comments, he was just really kind of... He like friendly, fun comments. And then after a while, in one of my early RTK LPs, got really kind of semi-belligerent about the fact that I was recording so far ahead that I wasn't responding to his comments. <laughs> Which was, struck me odd. Uh, for one thing, he was helping the same game, and I watched him, and I don't think he was actually as good at it as I was. Um, oddly enough. But, um, no, I always think back to that, because I've definitely seen... I think... I wonder how many people feel that way, but wouldn't make a negative comment about it. B but would instead just stop watching. Who knows? Uh, yeah, but no, I've never understood. I, I go back, like, LPers I like, you know, I watch a lot of Zerfall stuff as it's going up, and Bobo stuff as it's going up, but there's other LPers I don't watch everything they do, like Grimoth and Kakoskia. I'll watch their, I'll start watching a series of theirs that's already complete and has been complete for months. Why not? So for those of you who are watching this LPM Neo that way, you're probably wondering why the hell I'm still talking about this, and I'm wondering that too. But again, you know, since it's almost St. Patrick's Day, I had to get in just a little bit to tell you with my old friend William. I'll talk to you guys later.